You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports 2. Well, we're going to talk about Mel Tucker because he has pulled undoubtedly one of the biggest scumbag moves I have ever heard of. I mean, in in ever, ever, especially in light of poor coaching, a poor record, and now in light of the fact that seven Michigan State players have been criminally charged. His program is pure chaos. And I've said those players are a reflection of him and his lack of integrity, and this just proves my point. No self-awareness whatsoever. I'm sorry, but it is his responsibility as the CEO of a large NC2A program to have a handle on his players and to have recruited players that had some kind of integrity. Well, you don't gang up on, on two Michigan players in a tunnel in that large of a situation with one guy swinging a helmet and come out looking unscathed and looking great as a head coach. Well, this just sort of uh, proves my point. I mean, this may be the scumbag move of the year by a head coach. This is outkick. Mel Tucker reportedly pulls scummy move involving $100,000. So, guys, long story short, real fast, just so you know, he got a $100,000 bonus that could be divvied up among the staff and the assistants. And this son bitch kept every penny of it. I mean, it is unimaginably poor optics. I, I, I just can't even believe it. And it's pretty selfish, too. Michigan State football coach Mel Tucker reportedly took a big bonus that could have been split among assistants. The Spartans are currently 5-6, and six, and the program has been consumed in, by chaos. Not only is the play on the field terrible, but multiple players were also charged for a tunnel beatdown against Michigan. Things aren't going well in East Lansing. Well, Mel Tucker apparently thinks he's doing an outstanding job. Judging how he reportedly handled receiving a $100,000 bonus. USA Today reported Tucker received a $100,000 $100, that could have been shared with staffers. However, Tucker kept every red cent of the $100,000 bonus, according to the report. Wow. I mean, that's just, that's flooring, especially when you consider the following. Tucker and the football program are due a $100,000 annual bonus as part of his... 10-year, $95 million contract. By the way, everybody knows that's one of the worst contracts given to anybody in the history of college football. Jesus. The money can be allocated among Tucker, his assist, uh, assistant coaches, and the program's other staff members. However, Tucker clearly thinks he's doing such a bang-up job with the 5-6 and six Spartans he reportedly didn't share a penny of the bonus this season. Wow. Just to be clear, Tucker's annual salary over the length of his contract is $9.5 million, and all of us know he's not worth half of that. He's one of the highest paid coaches in all of sports despite having a career record of 23-20 and 20 and 18-13 and 13 with the Spartans. If you take away... Yeah, the 2021 season when he had the best running back in America and also one of the best running backs in the NFL this year, Kenneth Walker, is absolutely killing it with the Seattle Seahawks. Tucker is 7-11 and at Michigan State, yet he's being paid like Nick Saban. And let's be real, he's no Nick Saban. Then, when given a $100,000 bonus for the program, he reportedly pocketed the entire thing. That seems like a great way for your staffers to absolutely hate working for you. I bet they detest this SOB. 
The program is down bad, and instead of spreading the money around, he allegedly took the full $100,000 for himself. Seeing how the team is terrible, he probably is the last person who should accept the bonus. Absolutely, David Hookstead. Uh, I mean, let's be real. He shouldn't have kept a red cent of it. He should have divvied it all out. I mean, he's the one that doesn't have control of his program. He's the one that is the CEO of one of the biggest NC2A programs in the country. I mean, one of the biggest rivals with Michigan. And he can't control his players. He obviously can't recruit worth a flip when he's getting players with those kind of issues floating around in their head. His program is a disaster on and off the field. He can't win football games. I got a $100,000 bonus that's supposed to be spread among myself and the staffers. F my staffers. Wow. That's crazy. Thanksgiving for himself. Huh. Unbelievable. I mean, is this is this a scumbag coaching move of the de- the decade? How much does his coaches and staffers hate his guts right now? Just wondering. Unbelievable. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Enjoy it, but be safe. Have some turkey, have some ham, sweet potatoes. I mean, go for it. Get on it. Get fat today. I would say wait till to hit the gym tomorrow, but I went this morning, so peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.